In this video, I'm going to find the general solution of the ODE y prime minus y is equal to x multiplied by y squared. So we are given that uh, first order ODE there. I'll start by writing this part here, the y prime in full. So we have the derivative of y with respect to x minus y is equal to x multiplied by y squared. What you see there is we are having a nonlinear first order ODE. This nonlinear first order ODE, we see that it's a Bernoulli differential equation. It is of the form the derivative of y with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by y is equal to q of x multiplied by y to the power n. So if we look at uh, the coefficient of y here, it's a p of x. The coefficient of y in this equation here, it's a minus 1. So what we have there is p of x is equal to minus 1. Look at the right hand side there, we have a q of x here. On the right hand side here, we have x multiplied by y squared. So by comparison, we have that q of x is equal to x. Again, by looking at the right hand side, this part that I've highlighted and this part that I've highlighted, we see that our n is equal to 2. To solve a Bernoulli equation, we use the substitution u is equal to y to the power 1 minus n. So in this case, we are saying that our n is a 2 there. So if we substitute 2 into this equation here, we would have our u is equal to y to the power minus 1. So we have our substitution there, u is equal to y to the power minus 1. We can just make y subject of the formula there, and we would have y is equal to u to the power minus 1. So what I will do now is I will substitute this equation here into this equation that I've highlighted. Wherever we have y, we are replacing with u to the power minus 1. So our equation becomes the derivative of u to the power minus 1 with respect to x minus u to the power minus 1 is equal to x multiplied by u to the power minus 2. Now looking at this part here, the derivative of the u to the power minus 1 with respect to x. To evaluate that derivative, we have to use implicit differentiation. For implicit differentiation, we have the derivative of f with respect to x is equal to the derivative of f with respect to y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. So wherever I am having f in this equation here, I'm going to put u to the power minus 1 so that this uh, part here becomes the derivative of u to the power minus 1 with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Of this part here is not changing, so I will write it as it is, minus u to the power minus 1 is equal to x multiplied by u to the power minus 2. Now when we are looking at this part here, the derivative of u to the power minus 1 with respect to u, it will give us minus u to the power minus 2. So this highlighted part here is minus u to the power minus 2. So our equation becomes minus u to the power minus 2 multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x minus u to the power minus 1 is equal to x multiplied by u to the power minus 2. So that's the equation that we are having now. But what I can do is on this part here where we are having minus u to the power minus 2, I can make the coefficient of uh, du with respect to x there, I can make it a 1 by dividing this whole equation by minus u to the power minus 2. So if I divide this equation by minus u to the power minus 2, our equation becomes the derivative of u with respect to x plus u is equal to minus x. What we are now having there is a linear first order ODE. If we have a linear first order ODE of the form the derivative of u with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by u is equal to q of x, we can solve this equation by using an integrating factor. The integrating factor of this equation here, which we denote by mu of x, is equal to the integral of p of x with respect to x. We then go on and multiply the equation by the integrating factor, and we get mu multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x plus mu multiplied by p of x multiplied by u is equal to mu of x multiplied by q of x. And then go on and write this equation here in compact form as the derivative of mu of x multiplied by u with respect to x is equal to mu of x multiplied by q of x. So that's how we solve uh, 
a linear first order ODE using an integrating factor. Now looking at uh, this form of this equation, compare it with this one that we have here. We see that our P of X is equals to a 1. So if our P of X is equals to 1, we use it to evaluate the integrating factor here. So our integrating factor there will be the exponent of the integral of 1 with respect to X, which will give us our integrating factor is exponent of X. Multiply this equation here by the integrating factor and you get exponent of X multiplied by the derivative of U with respect to X plus exponent of X multiplied by U is equal to minus X multiplied by exponent of X. Write it in compact form and we have the derivative of exponent of x multiplied by u with respect to x is equal to minus x multiplied by exponent of x. So that's the equation that we are having now. And the next step is to integrate both sides with respect to x, then solve for u. So we would be having the integral of the derivative with respect to x of exponent of x multiplied by u with respect to x is equal to the integral of minus x multiplied by exponent of x with respect to x. Now if we look at uh, this integral here on the left hand side, that's the integral of a derivative. We know that when we integrate a derivative of a function, we get the function itself. So in this case, when we integrate this part that I've highlighted, what we get is the function that was being differentiated there, which is exponent of x multiplied by u. I now move on to the right hand side there, this integral, integral of minus x multiplied by exponent of x with respect to x. What we are having there, that's a product. And when we have a product, we use uh, integration by parts. So for integration by parts, we have the integral of u dv is equals to uv minus integral of v du. That's the formula for integration by parts. So if I apply integration by parts on this integral here, and the result that we get is minus x multiplied by exponent of x plus exponent of x plus c, where the c there is a constant of integration. So that's the result that we have. The next step is to make u subject of the formula. I divide throughout by exponent of x, and the result that we get there is u is equal to minus x plus 1 plus c multiplied by exponent of minus x. But if you still recall when you started, we used this substitution u is equals to y to the power minus 1. We can just make y subject of the formula there, and then we have y is equals to 1 divided by u. But in this case, we have solved for u. We are saying this part here, that's our u. So we are going to substitute it on this part here where we have the u, so that we have our y is equals to 1 divided by minus x plus 1 plus c multiplied by exponent of minus x. So what we are having here, this is the general solution of the first order ODE, y prime minus y is equals to x multiplied by y squared.